reasoned, nonpartisan voice on today's issues? This is the Frontier Center for Public Policy. Hi, I'm Roger Curry. Are Canadians being told the whole truth about residential schools? Find out more on today's Frontier Center commentary. For many years now, we've been told that the residential school system deserves the blame for many of the dysfunctions in Indigenous society. Abuse of alcohol and drugs, domestic violence, and educational failures can all be blamed on the school system, which did not finally end until the 1990s. Here are a few myths and the actual facts. Myth? Residential schools robbed Native kids of their childhood. In fact, the average stay was less than five years, and the vast majority of Aboriginal youth never attended a residential school. Myth? Residential schools robbed Indigenous Canadians of their language and culture. In fact, former students of residential schools were more likely to have retained more of their language and traditional culture than those who did not attend, and they are also likely to provide leadership in preserving their culture than those who did not attend. Myth, the harm that was done to those attending residential schools has been passed on to today's generation. In fact, there is little evidence that abuse that was suffered by a grandparent had any effect on the academic success of the generations that followed. Let us urge all Canadians to work on solving today's problems and their real causes. I'm Roger Curry. Join the only independent think tank on the prairies next week for more thoughts on the frontier. For more on residential schools, visit our website, fcpp.org.